Welcome back. Now that we have React Navigation in place, it's time to dive into one of its fundamental navigators, which is the Stack Navigator. Stack Navigation follows a straightforward principle. Each new screen is stacked on top of the previous one. It's like a deck of cards. When you navigate to a new screen, a new card is placed on top of the stack. And when you navigate back, the top card is removed, revealing the previous screen. This navigation pattern is common in many mobile apps, allowing users to drill down into detailed views and then retrace their steps when done. It's particularly useful in scenarios where a linear flow of screens is required, for example, viewing a list of items, tapping on an item to see its details, and then tapping on a link contained within to view more details. The React Navigation Library offers two navigators for Stack Navigation, Stack Navigator and Native Stack Navigator. The Stack Navigator is a JavaScript-based navigator which offers a high degree of customization, making it a great choice for apps that require a unique navigation experience. However, this comes at the cost of performance, especially when compared to its counterpart, the native Stack Navigator. The native Stack Navigator leverages the native navigation constructs of iOS and Android, providing better performance and a more native feel to the transitions and gestures. The caveat here is it might not offer the same level of customization as the Stack Navigator. In this series, we will focus only on the native Stack Navigator as a high level of customization is not our focus right now. But the performance and a more native feel to the transitions and gestures is preferred. Let's dive in. First, we have to install the native Stack Navigator library in our project. Go to React Navigation Docs and under Navigators, select Native Stack. Copy the installation command and paste it in the terminal. npm install at react navigation slash native stack. Next, in app.js, at the top, import create native stack navigator function from React Navigation slash native stack. Invoke it and create a native Stack Navigator instance. Now let's set up the navigator within our app component. Within navigation container, use stack.navigator. And within this, use stack.screen. This component accepts a name prop, which we have set to home and a component prop, which refers to the React Native component that will render a view. First, let's define that component. In the project root, create a new folder called screens. And within the screens folder, create a new file, homescreen.js. Here, define a simple React Native component that renders the text home screen. Since we have already created a React Native view multiple times, I'll paste the code to save some time. You can see we have a view container and a text component that renders the text home screen. We have some styling for the container to center the text content and some styles for the text to make it appear larger. Back in app.js, import home screen and assign it to the component prop on stack.screen. I'm going to specify home screen and this auto imports home screen at the top. We now have one screen defined in our application. Of course, navigation isn't of much use with just one screen. So let's create a second one. In the same screens folder, which I have created in a different project accidentally. So let's cut this and paste it under React Navigation. Make sure to update the import statement. I'm going to create another file about screen.js. Copy paste the code from home screen 
and change all occurrences of home to about. Back in app.js, duplicate the stack screen line, changing name to about screen. Make sure to import the component at the top. Our basic stack navigator has been set up. If you now run the app using npm start, check the two devices, we will see home screen rendered by default. At the top, we also have a header of sorts with the name prop on stack.screen displayed as the title. This header has platform specific implementation, which is why we see home at the center on iOS and on the left on Android. The library also takes care of rendering the content within a safe area view, avoiding the notch at the top. By default, the topmost screen within the navigator is the initial screen. You can change this by setting the initial route name prop on stack.navigator. Let's set it to about, which is the name of the about screen. Save the file, restart the server, and we can see the about screen is displayed as the initial screen. But how do we navigate between the two screens? Let's learn that in the next video.